Beer Legends. Today I'm trying to find a beer which I've heard from people. It's kind of hard to find. It's called Nam Kong Beer. And I've been searching, going around shops, restaurants, but I failed to find it so far. So this morning I decided to take a walk and see if I can find this damn thing and check it out. So maybe you want to join me on this trip and see if we can find something out. Okay, here we have a fairly large mini supermarket, mini big C they call it. See what they've got to offer here. Somebody, this may Nam Kong beer. Let's check it out. She thinks they might have it. Maybe. Okay. Hope try. So guys, they don't have it. Once again, I told you this beer is not easy to find. 
everyone tells me, yeah, they have it there, they have it there, but when you actually go there, they got not a sign of it. So, I'm not gonna give up that easily. Let's keep going. No, well, they gotta have it somewhere. Everyone says they have it, so where is it then? And that makes me feel like trying this beer all the more. See if we can find some shop. Really isn't as easy as they say. I've been through maybe 12 stores by now and still not a sign of this beer. So, hopefully, our luck will change today. Looks like we found ourselves a little beer garden. Let's try our luck here. They gotta have it here. Do you have Nam Kong beer? Yeah. Nam Kong. Yeah, right. Yes. Uh, bottle or drum? Do you have it? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I like a um, bottle. Bottle? Yeah. Bottle. Uh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Well, I'm not sure what he was saying, but it sounds like they don't have it really. Sometimes in this country they don't like to say the word no, we don't have so, or they don't like to say I don't know. So they are very polite people, so they'll rather tell you something else, even if it doesn't really make much sense, rather than just say hey, I don't know or I don't have. So our search continues. These are coffee shops, so we're not gonna be searching for it. There. Well, it's pretty, not so hot today, but pretty humid and even a 10 minute walk really gets you overheated. Let's see what they've got here. A stationary show. Bloody hell, they better have it somewhere. This shop right here. Let's see what we can find inside here. Ooh, nice and cold in here. Somebody, 
miss, um, Nam Kong Beer, Nam Kong Beer, me, maybe, oh, uh, where I can find this beer, <laughs> uh, let's look what they've got, apparently not this one, but let's check it out anyway, she might be mistaken, who knows, so let's see what we've got here. They got all sorts of beer, but not the one I'm looking for. Strangely. Let's, let's keep on going. Oh, chai. Thank you. Uh, miss, uh, uh, you know um, Nam Kong uh, beer, where can I get it? Over, oh, sorry. Over there. Okay, let's do that. Well, I've heard this one before. Point the finger, it's there. <laughs> but when you go there, usually there's nothing. Must, must have tried two dozen shots by now. I don't know. There seems to be a little shop. Let's peek, stick our head in there. See, see the bed? No, I don't see that bit. Let's check. Here's another shop. The uh, Miss Nam Kong Nam Kong beer. Me over there. Okay. <laughs> so another pointing and another bust. <laughs> oh well, what the heck? At least it's not sunny today. It's hot. It's humid, but it's not so bad like it, it is on most days. So. I think we've chosen the right time to do this thing. Nevertheless, I'm getting a bit tired by now. What fun is it? Keep walking around the neighborhood and finding nothing, nothing, nothing. But I've heard from several people that it's apparent that it exists and it's around, you know, even Even these shop owners said it's there, it's there. So if it did not exist, they would tell me, I don't know, or they don't have it, but they always say it's there, it's there. So, well, since I went this far, I'm not gonna give up now. We have another mini mart called Three Brothers. See if we get lucky here. Somebody, I need. Mr. Nam Kong beer. Huh? Nam Kong. 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 I'm not gonna give up now. Let's keep going. Look what I just found. Another mini mart. Let's give it a go. Got nothing to lose at this point. Somebody, Mr. Nam Kong, Nam Kong beer. Nam Kong beer. Oh, bloody hell. I don't believe it. We found the damn thing. Finally. Wow, nice and cold. All your beer buffs. We found the damn thing. 
They don't have anywhere. Only your shop. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, there you go. Bloody hell, huh? One yeah. shop in the whole town that has this thing. Can you believe that? Huh? Well, yeah. can't wait to pop it open. I'm getting sweaty. So, and night here. That's the chai mat. A little plastic bag And to keep it cold until we find a place to sample this thing. You gotta sit down with it. I'm not gonna drink it while I walk. I'm all too sweaty for that right now. Okay, the chai mat. Woo! Guys, we did it. Now let's find some place to sit and try this damn thing. Okay guys, let's do this quick and as painless as possible. It's too hot. I'm all sweaty and stuff. So here it is in, in its full colors. Very glad we finally found it. And I don't really know much about this beer. It's, I know only that it's very hard to find, somewhat mysterious, and that the Asia Pacific Brewery is the one who makes it. And since I don't know much about it actually, uh, I do know that most likely it is made from the usual ingredients. And uh, so, since I haven't really done my homework on this beer, I will borrow a phrase from Albert Einstein that the imagination is often more important than knowledge, so I'll try to do just that with this beer. And let's try to figure out what this beer is made of, okay? So let's, let's pop it open and see what we can come up with. Whoops. I've been walking around with it for a few minutes, so it's all foamed up. Actually, the head is huge, not because it is like that normally, but because I've been straddling the whole neighborhood with the beer until I found this place again, this beer garden, which is still open. So let's let it settle for a while. Uh, well, we can already see that it's a fairly golden color and uh, the smell is floral, a bit grassy, earthy, even a little bit sulfuric, I'd say. So let's give it a go. Well, there's definitely barley in it, malt, yeast, polished rice, and hops, the usual suspect. As always, the devil is in the proportions and the quality of these particular ingredients. So, let's give it some. The body is definitely light and a bit fizzy and it has a bit of a prickly mouthfeel and it tastes a bit dry, uh, mostly good for thirst quenching which right hits the spot right now that's for sure. Do I like the beer? Hell yeah! <laughs> I'm, I'm sweaty, I'm hot, why wouldn't I? In my condition? I love it. That's because everything is relative. Let's borrow another phrase from Albert Einstein. Well, you, as you can imagine, if you taste a beer when you are sweaty, hot and thirsty, it, it seems like an absolutely perfect beer. One would be tempted to give it 10 out of 10. But I also know that under normal circumstances uh, I would have to <laughs> uh, give it 5 out of 5, unfortunately. But not bad, not bad, definitely worth a try and it's a tad cheaper 
Dunbir Lao at least, so it kind of justifies its existence. So, here is cheer to you, here is cheer to Bir Nam Kong, and I'll see you in the next video.